and we are live hey guys marlin here back with another live stream hopefully you guys are doing good today um today is saturday and um, i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are out and about what is good what is good what is good with the nation what is good uh we live baby we live we are live all right all right we got some stuff to talk about so we got to acknowledge the chat first before we dig deep into everything that we have uh, to dive into, right? Um, what is good? What is good? What is good? Falcon, how you doing, man? Uh, Baptiste, how you doing? Roy, how you doing? Alex, how you doing? Uh, Neo, what's good? Falcon, what's good? Um, Isaac, what's good? labo man what's good how y'all doing how y'all doing what is up what is up man what is up what is up what is up welcome to another saturday live stream um maybe i need to stream more on saturdays <laughs> um but we'll see how it works how how the schedule allows me to put everything in there superstar skylar how you doing welcome to the stream matrix how you doing benjamin how you doing um Falcon, hi, I'm, I'm having a great day, Falcon. I'm having a great day, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Um, let's see, let's see here. Um, what is good, your boy? How you feeling? Welcome to the stream. Um, Joker, how you doing? So many of you guys. <laughs> Make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys share the stream. It really helps out the stream. Um, Tundra man, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much, man. I really, really appreciate this. Um, we got plenty of stuff to talk about. Of course, you guys seen the title. Uh, we're gonna talk about, you know, the Smash stuff. Uh, we got some Smash news to talk about. Uh, we have Mario Kart 9 to talk about. Um, Nintendo's best year is 2019. We're gonna go into that. We're gonna talk about this Hinch Joy-Con, as well as we're gonna talk about Echo Fighters. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it. All right, so let me continue to say what's up to everybody, man. It's been a while, man. Um, <clears throat> oh, hey, Marlon, I got some Six Sands pictures in Super Smash Bros on Twitter. Okay, hey, day is going great, man. Day is going great. <laughs> um, is Mario Kart 9 happening? We're gonna dive deep into that um uh what's up gaming cube hd what is good man how you feeling how you doing muhammad how you feeling how you doing welcome to the stream um i need a new uh mario kart game for switch most definitely um how you doing alder how you feeling man welcome to the stream scorpion how you doing welcome to the stream um okay super mario how you doing welcome to the stream Thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, okay. What's good, Thano Kong? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Welcome to the stream. Ah, uh, man, I'm doing great, bro. I'm doing great. I'm doing great, man. Um, Mar uh, uh, <laughs> Mario Kart 9. Yes, yes. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about it. I just want to say what's up to everybody, man. Big ups, shout outs to everybody. Don't mind, don't mind that noise in the background, guys. Don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. Okay. Um, okay, for Sans pictures. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Astral Chain is amazing. I haven't no, I haven't played it yet, but Astral Chain is a success. You know, it, it, it's kind of stupid because um, there's a lot of people that's been hating on Astral Chain, and I, I meant to put that in the title as well, but a lot of people has been hating on Astral Chain, wanted to fail, and it's doing extraordinary well. So, there you go. <laughs> um, Lazy Bones, what's good, bruh? Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Lazy Bones says, love your YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Lazy Bones. I really appreciate that. Uh, Black um, Clover god bless you god bless you too bro thank you so much for coming through um no you're not late man you you you, you caught it right on time you caught it right on time man. You caught it right on time um mario kart is gone <laughs> um what do you think of the nintendo switch Lite 
now that more information i think the switch light is going to be worth it if you're just going to be playing on the go so most definitely on that um <clears throat> Oh, okay. Jennifer Rudd, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. All right. <clears throat> so we got some smash news, guys. We got some smash news um, that we want to talk about. And this is interesting because this is coming from someone. I made a video talking about this. So I really appreciate everyone that had um, actually checked everything out pertaining to the stream and everything and also the video that i did but um the same leaker that talked about banjo coming in smash the same leaker that talked about sans making it in smash ultimate is saying that waluigi is going to be the fifth and the last fighter pass dlc character for this fighter pass of course we're going to get another one we don't know if it's going to be echo fighters we don't know at this point what's going on comeback kid welcome to the stream um so he's saying that it's going to be waluigi and you know in the back of my head i don't want to believe that because it's like okay waluigi is already already an assist trophy now i don't know how that would work out but at the same time it's all over the place now uh, almost every website is talking about this saying that a old leak from way back when from remember the grinch leak around that time uh even before that you know people were saying that banjo was going to make it in and he was saying that sans was going to make it in well those characters are actually in well sans is technically not a full-fledged fighter but hey he's a me costume which it's cool that Sans is in the game. I'm, I'm actually happy. And oh my God, the remix is so dope <laughs> for Undertale, like for Sans and everything. So um, I don't see Waluigi making it in and there's different reasons why I'm saying that. But I feel like a lot of people beg to differ on that. But this leaker is saying, hey, look, man, Waluigi is coming. And, you know, Waluigi at one point, I don't know if he still is, but Waluigi is like one of the more popular characters at the time that, you know, people really, 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 really wanted to see in Smash Ultimate. And um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I'm not going to sit here and get my hopes up, but I don't think I don't think Waluigi is, is coming at all. Now, like I said, there's a lot of websites that are really talking what? about him and everything and i'm just like oh really though God. like really oh uh, thank you so much for subscribing uh what's that uh i can't even pronounce your name thank you so much for subscribing oh my god my, my the brightness on this joint is all jacked up i need to adjust that but yeah thank you so much for subscribing hope you hit the bell and everything um uh, but they're saying that you know waluigi is is going to be coming in um now here is the crazy part okay and i need you guys what's good man god bless thank y'all so much uh for the support now listen to this <laughs> now um i want y'all to listen to this part right this is smash news related so they're saying that they want to ban banjo altogether. like they, everybody wants to get rid of banjo and i'm like really like okay i get the whole hero situation and it's just like okay we just got banjo and people are like oh banjo needs to go all together i'm like no he's not op right so they're planning a petition right now to actually ban banjo from tournaments because he's op and the b button is broken for banjo and all kind of shenanigans is going on and i'm like well, why like that's just stupid like why you're going to ban banjo what you know of all the characters that you could this. that you oh could get God. rid of welcome to the brother uh thank you so much ice wallow one two three if i'm saying your name correct ice wallow come one two three <laughs> thank you so much for being a subscriber to the channel make sure you turn on the notification bell you never miss a video or live stream thank you so much and it's, it's kind of crazy because why would you ban banjo like seriously are you kidding me from tournaments and you're saying that he's op I, I just don't understand 
the problem with Smash fans. They complain about every single thing. Sakurai has given us home run contests. People are complaining about home run contests saying that it's broken and it's glitching and the stuff with the sandbag. Like, I, I, okay, I get it, okay? It's no big deal. So what's the problem? What's the problem? But again, that is Smash fans for you. No matter what you do, Sakurai has given us his heart and soul and people still complaining. They complain about Banjo. They complain about Terry. Now, I think Terry is good for Smash. Don't get me wrong. I think terry is good for smash um i think it's something fresh you know the whole snk vibe i think it was really cool a lot of people are upset about that because they were really expecting sora they were expecting crash now all those characters can still make it in the game but people are salty about banjo people are salty about terry i'm like come what? on like no matter what you do I can't believe this. you cannot make oh people happy God. white to the brotherhood ass gamer <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing man really appreciate the support thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and what? thank you so oh much ty long just subscribe to the channel really appreciate you so it's just ridiculous man i just i just don't understand why people are complaining like seriously like we got version 5.0 we got home run contests. We got so much more different features and modes. We got Banjo in the game. We also have um, Terry coming and whoever the fifth character is going to be. So why is everybody so salty? You know what I mean? Like I just, I just don't understand it, guys. But I don't think Banjo should be banned. I just want to hear from you guys in the chat. I don't think Banjo should be banned at all. You know, but I feel like people kind of get it twisted when it comes to, you know, the 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 the, the content that we that we're getting, and also the, the 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 next DLC fighters that we're gonna be getting. There are still room to add more characters, and I feel like that's why Sakurai is doing this. You know, you can't please everybody, so I feel like everybody just need to chill. Like Sakurai is doing the best that he can and honestly i think sakurai should just pull away from this because now people are tweeting at sakurai oh my god if i could find the screenshot people are tweeting at sakurai and saying that why did you put banjo in the game really people send me screenshot on twitter and i really want to talk about this because i'm like banjo is not op unless you're not a professional smash player or unless you're not a, a smash player at all that's common sense to know that he's not op right so why are you tweeting at sakurai and saying oh sakurai um why did you put banjo in the game because banjo was one of the most requested character that everybody wanted right next to sora next to crash next to dooms guy next to a lot of people so why is people being so ungrateful i just don't understand it for the life of me guys seriously and this man <laughs> delivered at the last nintendo direct the last nintendo direct that we had was so amazing right so it's like why is it that people want to sit there and be ungrateful and try to attack sakurai and be like hey man why did you put this character in the game and even with terry they were they were attacking sakurai this is ridiculous guys they were attacking sakurai over terry they were attacking sakurai over banjo you know what i mean and these are the same people that sit there and beg sakurai to add different modes to add different characters and then when you get the character you're complaining what is there for you to complain about i just i just don't understand guys i really just don't understand what's wrong with the smash community man like seriously like it makes no sense to me so i don't think this whole ban and banjo is going to be a thing because he's not op he's not broken okay and we know that every time they come out with an update you know the last update that we've gotten for smash was was broken right it was a lot of glitches and problems with it 5.0 is out and i think it's actually better but there's still some issues here and there so it's like what's the big deal i just don't understand people guys but let me know what you guys think man i think that's just ridiculous i'm happy at the fact that we're getting all these characters i'm happy i'm really happy 
You know, I, I was not expecting more characters. Really? More? No, man, no. And and people want to to, to sit there and tweet at this man and harass this man. You know, and it's, it's just not fair. It's not fair to Sakurai. It's not fair to Nintendo. So, um, I think Sakurai after this needs a break. He honestly needs to pull away from Smash altogether because I feel like it's just disrespectful. I feel like it's uncalled for. And I feel like a lot of these people are just full of it because it's like, what is there to complain about? What is there to complain about? So that's just where I'm at, man. He's not OP. Thank you so much, Superstar. He's not OP. They're even saying, what's the point of adding Sans as a me fighter, right? As a me costume. Why, why didn't Sakurai put him in as a fighter? Like, why is people being so ungrateful? Like, why? Like, what? I'm not understanding I why. Can't this. Thank you oh so much God. for the subscription, Welcome your boy. Welcome to the Brotherhood, man. I really appreciate it. So, why is it why is it that we can't be happy? You know, like, like seriously, like every single time we get a major update, every single time we get characters, people complain. What is there to complain about Sans? Sans is fine. I'm happy that we have, yo, Etika wanted Sans to be in the game. Like, you know, like, like seriously, you know, Etika got his wish. So it's like, what's up? What's up? Zo uh, Zor, how you doing? Is Etika got his wish. Like, so I'm, my whole thing is like, why is it, why is not, why is it that people are not happy that Sans is in the game? Like whether he's a me costume or whatever me fighter representing, whatever. I'm happy regardless. So stop tweeting at Sakurai. Stop harassing Sakurai. It's ridiculous, guys. Seriously, man. I, I don't understand. I don't understand this. But guys, I don't know what some of you guys are looking for with the next set of DLC characters that we're supposed to be getting. I'm happy if it's going to be an Echo Fighter Pass or it's going to be a actual fighter pass. Either way it goes, I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm thankful. Sakurai did not have to do it. People are complaining about Sans. While a lot of people are rejoicing, I'm rejoicing that Sans is in the game. I'm rejoicing that Banjo is in the game because he's one of the popular requests on the, on the map. This is ridiculous, like seriously. So people just need to get happy and understand that Sakurai is doing the best that he can. You know what I mean? And the fact that Undertale started out as like sort of this unpopular indie game and then it just blew up and next thing we know, it's being represented in Smash. So what is the problem? I'm not understanding what the problem is. Um, but yeah, that's people for you, I guess. That's just people for you. Um, but I'm happy, guys. I'm honestly happy with whatever uh, Sakurai gives us. You know, this man put his heart and soul into everything, but yet still people are telling me, oh, Marlon, you should check this out. Oh, Marlon, you should look at this. And I look at it and it's it's just stupid. It's just like Sakurai did not have to put Sans in there. You know, Sakurai did not have to give us oh, banjo. Oh, no thank way. you so much oh, uh, for the you. $5 thank donation. You. Thank you. Um, from OK, if I'm saying your name uh, correctly there, Oak, uh, he says Banjo is not difficult to deal with and all of the what? gaming communities, it seems this. the oh Smash community has the uh, become the most ungrateful. Of course, bro. They're the most ungrateful. Honestly, they're the most ungrateful and I don't understand why. I literally don't understand why, but I'm happy. I'm happy with what Sakurai has given us. You know, thank you so much for the $5 super chat, man. I really appreciate it. I'm happy. So I know a lot of you guys are upset that people are complaining about dumb stuff because it's like Banjo is fine in my opinion. I'm happy that Microsoft and Nintendo worked something out to get Banjo in the game. And now because of how popular the request was for Banjo to be in Smash, now the creator of the character for Banjo is saying that a, a banjo game could happen now. A banjo game could happen now. Um, Microsoft is possibly looking into this and we could possibly get a banjo game on Switch. I'm, I'm just saying, Brian, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for the support. You know, this, this could happen now. So what is the problem? 
Why is people being ungrateful? Why is people attacking Sakurai and saying a bunch of stupid stuff? Like it just makes no sense because all of this, this is doing now is creating room. Now we're getting a rumor. All of a sudden we're getting a rumor stating that the PlayStation 5 launch title, one of the launch titles is going to be PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale 2. And the first one was pretty bad, right? And now we're hearing that this is happening and it's going to be co-developed with Capcom. So you see, everybody is seeing the success of Smash, right? And they really, really want to have their fighting game like Smash, you know? Because Smash is like one of the biggest crossovers ever, man, when it comes to fighting games. And it's like, people need to be happy because this actually puts Nintendo on the map. Hence what I said that this is Nintendo's best year. Nintendo's best year is 2019. This is facts, bruh. This is facts. So people just need to stop complaining and be happy. Like Nintendo just came out of the crux of the Wii U. The Wii U was epic fail, right? And now we got the Switch. I know the online is not great, but come on people, what is there to complain about? What's going on, you and I? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much, man, for joining. And I'm just saying this from the heart, guys. Like, seriously, I feel like after this fighter pass that we're getting sometime next year, the new fighter pass, I don't believe we should get another one. I think this should be it. I think Sakurai just need to back away because the Smash community is very ungrateful. The Smash community is very disrespectful. The Smash community is just unworthy honestly unworthy i just don't understand i just don't understand but this is what's happening this is what this is what's happening and this is just facts um now here is the thing with mario kart 9 i know a lot of you guys really want to find out more about mario kart 9 so we're hearing that of course mario kart tour is not going to be replacing mario kart 9 obviously not so it's been five years and seven months since Mario Kart 8 came out, right? It came out May of 2014, right? And so there's this thing that was said that you can't get two Mario Kart games on the same system, but people got to remember this. People got to remember that Mario Kart, like seriously, is one of Nintendo's best-selling franchises. And also... Here's the, here's the kicker. Oh, be ready for this one. Be ready. Just like the rumor is saying, just like how Smash is with crossovers, what from what they're from what I'm hearing, they're saying that Mario Kart 9 is going to have. You hear it here first. Listen up. Listen up, guys. Oh my god, this is gonna be epic. Mario Kart 9 is going to be like Smash with crossover characters. That's going to be insane. Now, I don't know how this is going to work, but I have just picture PlayStation characters like Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, um, just all these different PlayStation characters, Nathan Drake, all these different characters in Mario Kart. Like, I think that would be dope. As much as I don't really want to believe this, but that would be insane to have a Mario Kart crossover with Mario Kart 9. And they're saying that it's coming out for Switch. That's what they're saying. And I feel like with the, the, the rumors saying about a Switch Pro happening with the 7 to 10 year life cycle of the Switch. Because that's what Nintendo is saying that they really want to do. They want to make the Switch a family of systems. And it makes perfect sense. But that would be lit. If this rumor is true, a Mario Kart crossover would be insane would be insane <laughs> like i mean just just think about it guys think about this man banjo in in mario kart right that would just be insane i mean he's in smash why can't he be in mario kart i'm just saying i'm just saying so if this rumor is to be believed to be true then i think that would just be dope for mario kart 9 to have that big crossover to have some sort of native kind of chat support to where you know we don't necessarily have to and this is the word man this is the word that nintendo is internally working on a better chat system and i hope it's true because i'm tired of using my phone 
to talk. I think it's just stupid, right? To, to use your phone to talk. And so I'm hearing that there's going to be an internal way to talk natively on the Nintendo Switch. And it's going to be sort of a overall update of the dashboard that's supposed to be included into it. That's what I'm hearing, guys. So take all of this with a grain of salt. This person that gave me this information is credible. So I'm not going to say any names because I don't want nobody getting in no trouble. But I'm just saying, guys, oh, my God. I think that I think that's what the people want. People want native chat support on the Switch. That's something that we've been dying for on the Switch. So it would make perfect sense for Mario Kart 9 to have native chat support in it. You don't have to use this stupid phone. You know, you can use your um, your headphones, just plug it into your Switch, and then voila. Now, it's 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 kind of a bit confusing because a lot of people were saying that okay. Why is it that we don't necessarily have more options when it comes to like the friends list? And so that's being worked out as well. So they're trying to fix the 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 friends list to make it a bit more like Xbox Live where you can invite a friend, add a friend to a private chat, um, invite a friend to a group chat, stuff like that. Oh yeah, the whole Overwatch situation um, is actually interesting because Overwatch is gonna be running at 30 frames per second. I just heard some information from the Overwatch PR team and um, I'm on the list to, re to review it, so we'll see uh, more information on that. But yeah, Overwatch is not going to have cross-platform with like Xbox and PlayStation. They're saying that it's still on the wraps. They might work out the kinks on that, but guys, I'm just going to tell people that 2019 is definitely Nintendo's best year. Honestly, it's 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 going to be amazing. The stuff that you guys is going to see that's going to be unfolding. But I'm hearing a lot of things internally that's happening. And I'm, I just can't believe it myself. But I wanted to share it with you guys. And I know you guys will respect, re respect it and whatnot. But I feel like games like Overwatch, games like... Uh, how could I put this like there's so many online games on the switch right now that could do a lot better with native chat support they're even saying Call of Duty is coming to the switch but we don't we don't really know it's just kind of a a, a hop hop skip it a hop to uh, a Activision PR and then everything is kind of trickling down and then it's kind of like oh we don't want to give away too much but guys I'm telling y'all right now this is Nintendo's year man Nintendo is looking really good this year and 2020 is going to be looking good i'm hearing stuff now listen to this the game awards the game awards is coming up right uh we know that it's going to be in december in another three more months they're saying that beta the three is going to be there we're going to be getting a release date for it gameplay on it and we're supposed to be getting information about metroid prime 4. i don't know how true this is Take it with a grain of salt. That's what that's that's the hot talk around town right now. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. And you know what? It will make sense because that was when Bayonetta was, Bayonetta 3 was originally revealed at the at the at the VGAs. So it would make sense for them to actually showcase it, you know, um, at the VGAs this year, right? And um, of course, I'm not expecting a lot of stuff from metroid prime 4 because we know it's early in development but at least a teaser i think will be dope at least a teaser would be dope right um but yeah guys i'm i'm really excited i'm really really excited um there's a lot of things that's happening right now there's a lot of rumors there's a lot of um intel that's coming in from credible sources uh people are emailing me people are hitting me up on my dms and giving me information and i want to share it with you guys and plus we know people at Nintendo as well. I would just put it to you guys like that. Um, let's see what some of the comments are saying. Make sure you guys tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation. Um, who is the last Echo Fighter? Man, I don't even know, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not even going to tell you. Honestly, I'm not even going to tell you, Future X Games. Just sit back, relax. Just just, just wait for the, the, the rumors to start uh, uh, boiling up. I uh, can't wait for 2020. Uh, be more surprises uh, from Nintendo. Most definitely, bro. I don't know about Mario Kart third-party support. No one wants to see Snake. 
Hey, hey, it could happen. It could happen. I'm just saying it could happen. Um, Ace, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah, this is Nintendo's best year, man. Arguably, this is Nintendo's best year. They're coming out with the Switch Lite. They have a killer um, month this month, right? There's so many games coming out this month, next month, and in November and December as well. So for the rest of the year, Nintendo got everything on lock. Microsoft, I can't say the same. Sony, I can't say the same because they're gearing up for their next generation system. And trust and believe, Nintendo is going to be ready for next gen, okay? That's the word out on the street. So a lot of people are thinking that, okay, with all this power, Nintendo is gonna be left behind. Don't fool yourself. Nintendo is gonna be right there with the PS5, right there with the next Xbox. Trust and believe that. Um, don't worry about Crash, man. Don't worry about Crash. We still got room to grow. I'm gonna put it to you like that. We still got room to grow, okay? Um, let me see here. Do you think Nintendo would add an achievement system? There's talks about that. Um, some sort of Nintendo reward system where just like how achievements are, you beat a certain section or you do a certain thing in the game and then it pops up and whatnot. So yeah, most definitely on that. Most definitely. Um, Goku is not happening. Just forget about that. Goku is not happening. Um, at least an Echo Fighter. Okay, okay. Um, just change your mains. <laughs> um, I hope Nintendo removes Shadow from the assist trophy and make him an Echo Fighter. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I think the whole Echo Fighter Pass thing would be dope. Honestly, I think it would be dope. Um, Marlon, what's your favorite Nintendo franchise? Mine is Mario. My favorite Nintendo franchise, honestly, man, it's so many, it's so many stuff, is Mario Kart. That's like my favorite Nintendo franchise because, I mean, that's one of the first games I had on the N64. Um, Mar uh, let me see here. Next Xbox. <laughs> Next box. <laughs> um, let's see here. It's so windy. Okay. Uh, Solid Snake is in mario kart hey man i'm telling you guys i'm telling y'all when y'all see it y'all hear y'all y'all hear it right here first oh oh no we got way. hit with another donation oh my lord thank, thank you. you so much thank you. Thank tivo you. jr with the three dollar donation my brother thank you so much really appreciate it let's read in what uh tivo said to us share the stream guys joy con boys for life yes joy con boys for life most definitely man most definitely thank you so much guys make sure you smash that like button share the stream really appreciate it thank you tivo borderlands 3 coming to switch no it's not coming to switch i'm gonna say as of right now there's no plans to put it on switch and i think what what they're really looking at is a much more powerful Nintendo Switch. So I think when we get like a Switch Pro, I think games like Borderlands 3 would probably come over. And then when Nintendo actually revamps the online, I think um, that that would be a thing. So most definitely on that one. Um, let me see here. Can I tweet my Banjo gameplay? Yeah, yeah, sure, man, sure, go ahead. Um, Ishik, how you doing, man? What's up? what's up dude welcome to the stream joy con boys for life what's goody man thank you so much for joining um at marlon gaming nation after monolith soft is done making xenoblade chronicles definitive edition will they be making a xenoblade chronicles x definitive edition soon um yes and no because i think we're going to be getting a new xenoblade chronicles um so i don't and they are working on um new stuff as well so i don't think i don't think that's probably going to come out anytime soon i think they're trying to work on their new stuff that they got going on internal right now so i think that's what's going to happen there um snake and mario kart just doesn't feel right snake's graphics doesn't fit in nintendo world hey but he's in smash he's in smash so hey man how would you feel that uh master chief master chief is in mario kart like that that would just be insane even though you can't see the fit but um hey what did i miss what did you talk about man we talk about a whole lot of stuff brother we talk about a whole lot of stuff the stream will be up man the stream will definitely be up we talked about a whole bunch of stuff um yo malik williams how you doing welcome to the stream 
Um, can we get a Sony rep for Smash? Maybe Kratos? Um, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Because right now, the relationship between Nintendo and Sony is kind of rocky right now. So I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest with you. I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm just saying. Anything is possible, but I don't think Kratos is going to be in. I mean, I think he will be a good fit for Smash, but yeah, just like Scorpion, a lot of people really wanted Scorpion. Uh, Mario Kart 9, awesome. I want it because I never bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I never bought because I, I've i been hearing that Mario Kart 9 will come out on Switch, but I don't believe it. I, I hope it's true, man. Me too. Me too. But the word on the street is, is that it's going to be cross um, it's going to be uh, a cross crossover with characters. That's what that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Um, I can see Bandai Namco making Master Chief in Smash Ultimate, bro. I'm telling you, if people talking about Doom's guy making it in, I think Master Chief have a chance as well. Um, I'm just saying. I, I just think he has a chance. I just what's up, Rezo Gaming Headquarters? What is good, my brother? Thank you so much uh for joining. Uh do you think uh Rob uh Roblox? Um it's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna throw it out. Tivo, oh, thank you so much for the three dollar no donation. Way. Oh um, my lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm gonna say you. Roblox. Um it's a possibility. <clears throat> uh, 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 Sonic in Mario Kart 9 uh, It's possible man Those characters can actually make it in What I mean you can see a crossover Between Sega Sony, Microsoft That would be dope Have all the popular characters racing in Mario Kart 9 That would just be insane Seriously like I think it would be dope Like people are actually missing out I think it would be dope um, 3 fighter pass for Smash Ultimate I think the next fighter pass should be the last and will be the last for, for Smash. Because, I mean, even though the character reveals are amazing, I think Sakurai needs a break because people are just too disrespectful. Too disrespectful to Sakurai. Um, I hope Bayonetta 3 shows something um, already. It's been two years, and I definitely think it will show a new trailer uh, for Bayonetta 3. Oh, most definitely, bro. Well, the last thing that we heard about Bayonetta 3 is that it's going to be different than the other two games, which is good because I'm like, come on. I thought Nintendo was going to show it at E3. They didn't show it. I thought we was going to get it at the last Nintendo Direct. They didn't show it. So it makes sense for the VGA. That's what the rumors are saying, that we're going to be getting it at the VGA Awards. They're going to show gameplay and they're going to give us a release date. I think that will make perfect sense going into 2020. What's good, bag bros? How you feeling? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Thank you so much for joining, man. Um, What's your thoughts on Luigi Mansion 3? Luigi Mansion 3 is amazing. Can't wait to play it. Uh, that's a that's a phenomenal game. We're on the list to, to to get that in early for review. So we'll see what happens there from Nintendo. But yeah, people are saying that Nintendo should change the name for Luigi Mansion Three. Like they're what? saying the name should change, and I'm like, this. why? Oh my God! Welcome to Bag the Bros. Just subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the channel, man. Be sure to turn on that notification bell to where you never miss a video or live stream. Thank you so much bag bros for subscribing to the channel really appreciate it welcome to the brotherhood man welcome to what we have here um do you guys think that they should change the name luigi mansion 3 to something else i think that's just stupid because people always try to find a way to complain and i'm like why is it that they should change the name like i i'm fine with luigi mansion 3 I'm guessing they're looking for a, sort of a subtitled kind of name for Luigi Mansion 3, but I'm happy with it. I mean, it's it's generic name Luigi Mansion 3. I'm okay with that. I think the next Smash should be something completely different. Imagine a Smash action RPG like Kingdom Hearts where you can travel to other worlds within uh, the Nintendo universe. Yeah, I think I can see something like that. Um, do you think that the next DLC, um, the next DLC will be all third party, or do you think? I think third party would make sense. Dammy, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. I think third party would make sense. 
all third party would make sense. Even though we've been getting a mixture of third party characters in what we have right now, I just think it would make sense. But hey, I echo I echo fighter pass is cool. Um, um, guys, oh yeah, thank you so much, Zonix. Really appreciate that. Marlon, do you want as an echo fighter for Smash Ultimate? If this, yeah, most definitely. Uh, who I want as an echo? Um, dang. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so many, it's so many, so many, so many people I would like. I would like to see Shadow, honestly. Um, honestly, I think Shadow is one of like one of the top requested Echo, but I already know he's already in Smash, but a lot of people would really, really want Shadow to be a playable fighter. I, I would like to see Shadow as well. Um, also, what came out in terms of Mario Kart 9? Well, they're saying that it's going to be a crossover with different characters, third-party characters in the game. Uh, it's going to have native chat support. It's going to be on the Nintendo Switch family of systems, meaning that it's going to be on the Switch. Um, and there's a lot of cool um, different things like making your own track. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about that. So apparently, take this with a grain of salt. Oh my God, you hear it here first. They're saying that somehow we're going to be able to make our own stages. Can you believe that? Making your own Mario Kart circuit? That would be insane. I mean, basically in Smash, you can make your own stages and stuff like that. So why what? can't us can't make our this. own? Oh Thank you God. so much, GS08CK Sunny View. Welcome to the nation. Uh, be sure to turn on that notification bell to where you never miss a video or live stream. So they're saying that you can make your own stages. And, bro, that would be insane. I can come up with some crazy circuits, man. Like, so if that if that is to believe, the whole crossover thing with the characters, native chat support. Of course, it's going to be 60 FPS. Um, and the characters are obviously going to look a lot better than they do in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I mean, the characters look amazing in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but to make your own stages, guys, I think that's insane. Honestly, I think that's insane. Um, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I can accept that rumor. I can accept that rumor. Uh, track maker 2, Nintendo can make money before the game even releases. That's what I'm saying. If it's done properly, they can make bank they can literally make bank off of mario kart 9 like the fact that they if they give us the ability to make our own stages do you know the stages that people can come up with and if they give us the right tools like you know like how little big planet is how you can just grab a bunch of stuff and put it together and make levels and stuff and same thing with smash ultimate you can make anything at this point so imagine in the mario kart universe you can actually make your own circuit that is insane if that if this room is to be belief i'm excited native chat support ultimate crossover between third party characters and making your own stages like that's revolutionary to mario kart because i've been playing mario kart since oh my god since super nintendo come on guys like seriously man like that would just be amazing. Nintendo can print money. They can print money. And of course, treat Mario Kart 9 like a fighter pass situation. Like what they did with um, with Smash Ultimate with the fighters, the DLC fighters. They can add DLC carts, which they already been doing that. But they can add it like in a very unique way. Like with Smash where you get, you get a character, you get a cart, you get a stage, you get some music, and voila. I think that'll just be some crazy ideas. Uh, Nintendo, I know you're watching the stream. That's some crazy ideas for Nintendo right there, man. Crazy ideas. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, what is the Game Awards? It's pretty much where it's hosted by Jeff Keighley. It's pretty much where they, they give all the Game of the Year um, nominees and they pretty much reveal like new things there and whatnot. That's pretty much what the Game Awards is. I think five more fighters are joining because of the CSS. Also, I think spirits have a chance. I can see that, Sunny View. I can see that. Um, a lot of people are saying that it's going to be an Echo Fighter Pass this time around. That's what's heavily rumored right now. But, I mean, anything can happen. We could be getting another fighter 
uh, fighters pass or whatnot, which I'm happy with. I, I was not expecting that. Now, we don't know if it's going to be five, six, or eight, but from what I'm hearing, it's going to be larger than what we currently have as far as number of um, fighters and whatnot, which is cool. Um, I left Joy-Con won't charge good some uh, really okay i want you guys to look at this right now uh let me know what you guys think about this i think this is really interesting um it's supposed to be a hinged joy con and i don't know man it's like a bendable joy con and i think it's a new joy con that nintendo is working on currently right now and the patent pretty much came up yesterday and um i really want to show you guys this real quick here uh, let me know what you guys think of this i don't know necessarily what they're going to do with this um sort of layout design but i'm pretty sure that you can still dock it on your switch because the problem is with the joy cons guys is that it's it's very flimsy you know it's very flimsy and you know it's not durable um and it's not big enough in my opinion look at this right here guys look at that design right there and let me know what you guys think um let me know if you think this is actually worthy of uh taking a look at here this is what the patent is um so far what's good jeff how you doing man welcome to the stream thank you guys so much for the support man really appreciate it um let me know what you guys think about that new joy con um i would want satellite to have the second fighters pass then a one to two year satellite makes a third fight bro i don't think that's gonna happen because come on man we gotta we gotta make room for the next smash game if there's going to be one um let's see here bring back mario kart oh you know yes 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 guys that would be amazing that double dash mechanic would be amazing for mario kart 9 so if they can give us that same mario kart double dash mechanic i think that would just be amazing man oh my god native chat support everything i think it would just be dope honestly uh yeah you yes i played banjo i played his banjo and everything uh cd drummer what's good bro welcome to the stream thank you so much man thank you so much um so yeah uh honestly guys it, it, it's it's one of those situations where i tell people all the time like nintendo can do some great things with the ips that they currently have right now and people just need to understand that you know what's up what's up colin how you doing man welcome to the stream you play 3ds yes i have my 3ds i just haven't um i haven't uh like touched my 3ds in so long but yes i have a 3ds what do you guys think about this joy con y'all see this joy con right here i think i think i don't know i don't know what to say on that but i think nintendo is up to something with that one um but yeah nintendo needs to fix the joy con situation uh marlon what would you think uh if they did a fortnite cross splatoon cr crossover i would actually play fortnite again i think that would be dope i think to to have like the squid the the inklings up in there i think that would that would just be dope or fortnite characters in splatoon however they do that crossover i think it would be dope because i think right now honestly i think fortnite is more popular than splatoon 2. so i think you know nintendo will be benefiting from the popular uh fortnite you know like they will because look right now borderlands 3 is basically in fortnite you know so a lot of companies are using that you know to advertise their games or whatnot so i mean i can possibly see that happening um i'll i'll try to stream luigi mansion 3 most definitely um why does everyone think we are going to get an echo fighter pass that's what the rumors are saying that's what the rumors are saying that what that's what a lot of people are saying hold on let me let me check this out real quick but um like i said i tell people all the time Take it with a grain of salt because we don't we don't know at this point we don't know if this is going to happen or not but we can all we can do is is sit back relax and see if see if this is going to happen or not that's just how i look at it at the end of the day um now it you know like i tell people don't get too excited because you know uh, i've seen a lot of i've seen a lot of ways where people can improve on certain things but 
Of course they don't. Uh, probably DLC Fighter Pass is from the NES era because in the Terry trailer uh, before we go to Neo Geo and it stopped. Hey man, there you go. Uh, Marlon, who do you think the fifth DLC? I think Sora. I think it's going to be Sora. I think it's going to be Sora. Sora is up there with Banjo, man, as, as popular fighter requests, you know what I mean, on the poll. So I think I think Sora, but I understand the whole Disney situation of people are like, oh, 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 this and that, but I think Sora still stand a chance. And I think Sora will be a very good fit for Smash. Combat King, what is good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much, man. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly do think so. I honestly do think so. Um, let me bring this over here. Uh, let's see here what we got. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think Sora. I think Sora could be the last one. But uh, the rumor is saying, the rumor, the rumor is saying that it's going to be Waluigi. A says, yo, Marlon, what's your Smash main or at least your favorite to play? Roy and I also, I'm digging, I'm digging Hero right now. Um, but Roy is like my absolute favorite, of course, and Ike. <clears throat> those are my those are my boys, man. Those are my boys, uh, most definitely right now. Those are my boys. <laughs> um, oh, Silver, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, man. Um, let's see here. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, technically, Square Enix owns uh, so exactly, basically. So I, I mean, it's still. I mean, yeah, Sora can still make it in, guys. I don't know why people are actually giving up on Sora, but Sora can still make it in. Sora can still make it in. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. What's up, Ultimate Wolf Boy? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining, bro. But yeah, honestly, guys, I do think um, Sora can make it in. I think Sora is probably going to be the next character because a lot of people want Sora in there. A lot of people want Waluigi, but I just don't see Waluigi happening. Uh, and people just got to accept that. People just have to accept that, you know? Um, because right now, I think a lot of people are really sleeping on Sora, you know. People are giving up hope on Sora and I think Sora can still make it in. Steve, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot of people want Steve, but hey, it's just one of those situations. Ultimate Inkling, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um <clears throat> Sora can make it uh without Disney <laughs> There you go. There you go. Exactly. Exactly exactly bro exactly um so i think people just need to wake up man and realize that it's a lot of things that is going on right now that i feel like a lot of people are missing out on as far as characters i mean people are complaining about banjo being op people are complaining about some of the dumbest things that i don't understand you know what i mean like just be happy guys i mean we're getting what we're getting right now and everybody should be happy you know what I mean? Straight up and down like it is. Everybody should be happy. I'm happy right now with what we got. And that's just, it's final. I mean, real talk, you know? Um, I'm happy with what we have, honestly. Uh, let me see here. We're getting some more questions in. All right, we get some more questions in here. But, you know, like I said, guys, you can't please everybody. Um, you can't win everything. And of course, you could sit here and 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 say, hey, I want this or I want that character. Or, I want this. It's really up to Nintendo. It's really up to Sakurai. It's really up to Nintendo if they if, if they approve it or not, because Sakurai can sit there and say, hey, look, I, he wants this to happen. But Nintendo has to approve it ultimately first. So, I mean, that's pretty much what it boils down to. Um Okay, let's get back to the questions here. Um, <clears throat> all right. Really up to Nintendo. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Akuma. <laughs> uh, babe, people need to give up this whole Akuma situation. 
uh, Doom guy has a chance to. Yeah, yeah, Doom guy has a chance because Bethesda and I put it to you like this: Bethesda and Nintendo has a very good relationship, right? Square Enix and what's up, Kyle Bryant? How you doing, man? Joy-Con boys forever. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, and just so you guys know. I'm working on a Joy-Con Boys album, an actual music album. It's coming out next June. It's gonna be the one year anniversary after Etika's passing and I feel like that will be a very good time to release the album. For people who haven't heard the previews yet, it's on the channel. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be releasing two tracks this year uh, for Etika. We're working on a full documentary and we're shooting some music videos for Etika as well. So shout outs to my, my brother, man. Um, he's one of my main motivations to do YouTube. When I wanted to give up on my channel, he actually, you know, tell me not to quit and actually tell me to push. So just wanted to put that out there as well, you know, so you guys bear that in mind. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. So Nintendo, like I said, have very good relationship with Microsoft. We're seeing all these different Microsoft games on switch right now, or in the blind forest, we're seeing uh, of course, a lot of people got to remember, you know, a lot of Microsoft's IPs are on the Switch, you know, and people just have to get Super's Lucky's Tale. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. So I, I don't see why a Microsoft rep, well, we have Banjo now, you know, so Master Chief could possibly make it in as well. Um, I mean, Doom's guy is pretty much... Doom's guy is pretty much like Master Chief, honestly, you know, so I think we need more people like Snake in the game, you know. Uh, hey, Marlon, do you think we're going to get a ballot for Smash? I, I mean, no, no, I mean, we already had a ballot. It wasn't even a full fledged ballot like, you know, what we had before, but I don't think so. We might. I'm not going to throw it out because we're, we're going to be getting um, new DLC fighters. We're getting more. So I think it's possible that Sakurai can actually give us a full-fledged ballot this time around. So yes, most definitely, I think it's possible. And also, you know, with ballots and stuff, it's a very good way to kind of gauge how the community, you know, feels about, you know, a character or whatnot. I mean, you know, of course, Smash Wii U they actually did the ballot and you know that's how a lot of the characters kind of got in you know so i think it's possible now that we're getting more dlc characters and i i feel like after this fighter pass i don't think we'll see anything until e3 of next year um let me see joy con boys channing occur <laughs> occur before the nintendo direct at the nintendo store okay uh sora is not happening because Sakurai only goes for guest characters that are created by different companies. Hey man, you never know. You never know. You never know. You never know what Sakurai is going to do. You never know. Characters that we thought that would never make it in Smash is in Smash right now. So I'm never going to say never on that one. Um, instead of taking a break, Sakurai should retire after the uh after nintendo finished the second fighter pass most definitely i think he should he should just hang it up all together hang it up sakurai hang it up bro hang it up <laughs> trust me trust me i don't think sakurai needs to work on anything else he's one of the most hardest working developer there is next to hideo kojima honestly oh check my twitter page okay let's see well, let's see what you guys are tagging me on twitter here with stuff let's see what we got um let's see here let's see um you guys are tagging me and stuff here uh mentions let's see what we got um no we don't have anything yet uh, i think we got a message uh you sent a link i what's this 100 percent b lego um indiana jones the original adventures oh man kudos man kudos kudos bro <laughs> kudos Oh, Sakurai is a legend, bro. He's a legend. Always have been, always will be. Um, can I tweet my banjo uh, play video? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead and do that, man. That's fine. Nintendo's new weird belt. Yo, that is so weird. Are they trying to be like Wii Fit? Is it like a Wii Fit approach? 
I don't know, but it seemed like something like like fitness wise. Makes me think, what about this new Joy-Con with a bend with a bendable top like uh, joystick area? I don't know, man. I don't know what that's about, honestly. Uh, since Square and Nintendo is on good terms again, I I was this, I would be hype for Super Mario RPG remake. Yo, Super Mario RPG remake would be dope. How do you guys feel about Geno? Do you guys think that Geno still have a fit? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you, do you guys see the, the the glitch with the sandbag in Smash? I think that's insane. To be honest with you guys, I think that's insane. I seen a I seen a video on it and I thought it was just hilarious. Oh, Sakurai's a legend, bro. There's no doubt about that. Most definitely on that one. Um, Sakurai deserve a break or retire. If Smash Ultimate is the final Smash game ever, so be it. He has done a whole lot for the community. Yeah, a whole lot for the community that don't deserve it. Literally don't deserve it at all. Seriously. I think this should be the last Smash game and just call it quits. Honestly. How do you feel about Overwatch for the Switch? I'm excited about Overwatch on the Switch. My only downside to it is, is that, you know, the Switch don't have a data, like a data plan or something like that, like a 4G or a 5G um model so you would have to like you know to play that on the go you'd have to go to like mcdonald's or starbucks to play but i'm excited to have overwatch on the go even though it's an older game it's still popular a lot of people still play overwatch um the the, the notion of it running at 30 frames per second i'm i'm happy with it i'm literally happy with it i mean i'm just happy at the fact that they they've gotten overwatch on switch i mean i think they they could have if if it was ported the right way, I think they could have um, pushed it to 60 frames per second, but most definitely, man. Um, I doubt that Mario is ever is uh, ever gonna get in Smash Bros, to be honest. <laughs> that must be a joke, right? Shadow and Smash, I know a lot of people want Shadow and Smash as a fighter. Uh, due to the Pokemon fan base behavior, we don't deserve another Pokemon game, bruh. This is ridiculous. People making videos talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield, saying it's bad animations, the, the, the Pokemons look too stiff, the, the universe is bad. I mean, just they complain about every single thing. And I think after this, Game Freak just needs to be like, look, this is it. We're done. We're done. We know no more Pokemon, but that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. They're still going to continue to make Pokemon games. You know why? Because it's money for Game Freak. It's money for Nintendo. And it's just printing money. Pokemon prints money. Just like Mario prints money for Nintendo. Just like Smash prints money for Nintendo. I mean, they're not going to stop. It's going to keep going on and on and on. Um, if Sakurai retires from his position after Smash Ultimate, I would gladly accept it. He has done, yeah, most definitely, man. He's a true legend, bro. He will go down as a true legend. Trust me. Um, yo, Marlon, have you seen somebody has made a link to the past with Link between Worlds Engine? No, I haven't seen that. What? Send that to me on Twitter, bro. Send that to me on Twitter. I haven't seen that at all. Um, oh, okay, okay. Okay, you got some gameplay here, brother. You got some gameplay. I see the gameplay. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, if my internet will, will load your video. I'll check it out in a second. Um, any chance for Crash Bandicoot? Crash Bandicoot is is up there too as, as requested fighters as well. Like top requested fighters. So I do think Crash have a chance. Um... But I don't know. A lot of people are not talking about Gino anymore. Like, I remember at one point, everybody wanted Gino to make it in the game. And so, not, not happening for a lot of people. Um, let's see here. Let's see what other what questions we have. Um, the Pokemon fan base um, isn't always toxic, but it's just stupidity. Yes, yeah, just complain them. They, you know what? The dumbest complaint I've heard about Pokemon Sword and Shield, and get this, the same people that are complaining about Sword and Shield, they're going to buy the game. That is just the blasphemy that I don't understand. Like, why is people sitting there complaining? They're gonna buy it, they're gonna buy it. Trust me, they're gonna buy it. So why complain? Why complain? 
<laughs> oh my god like they're saying that the water yeah that's right the water is oil like it, it's too what i think they said it was um there's no physics or something no the water is like oil really out of all the things to complain about you're saying that the water is like oil really i just don't understand the mind of people i just don't um i pinged uh, it to you on discord okay uh discord let's see what we got on discord oh okay okay you send it to me on here all right let's see help me oh my Please. god that looks help good wait we gotta look at this real quick if y'all don't mind we gotta look at this real quick dang legend of zelda a link to the past hd switch yo this looks fire oh my lord okay let's go to reactions real quick um bruh we gotta look at this that looks so good um okay that looks insanely good all right like let me let me um let me find a way to pull up the chat real quick because i think i took the chat out the way um okay let me pull up let me pull the chat over here that actually looks amazing that's the first time i'm seeing that all right let's 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 take a look at this together um okay uh oh i'm on the screen <laughs> I'm on the screen. Wait, hold up. Let me let me switch it. Let me switch it real quick. I'm sorry guys for that. I'm sorry guys for that. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, I think it should be fine now. Let me make the screen big. Um, let me go ahead. All right, there we go. We're good. All right, so let's check let's check this out together. Wait, hold up. Let me stop the music. Let me stop the music real quick. Um, music, music, music. Stop the music. Okay, let's check this out together. I got I, this is my smash layout, guys and gals. Um, okay, this is this is lit. I am a prisoner in the castle dungeon. My name oh is Zelda. Oh my god! The wizard Aghanim has done something terrible. This to looks the other so girls. lit. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle. Wow, it's just so smooth. Trying like, to open the sage's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks so good, bruh. Oh my god, this looks so good. What the heck? Oh my god. Wow. Yo, this is fire. Damn. Oh my god. Wow. Yo, this looks so good, man. Oh my god. What? Oh my lord. Look, look at the detail. Look at the... Oh my lord. This looks amazing. Yo, that looks amazing, guys. That looks amazing. Y'all see this? Oh, and oh, there was something else I want you guys to see that I thought that was crazy. I think it was um, Smash Ultimate, something with the, um, the, the home run contest check this out this i thought was crazy look at this no way there's no way there's no way bruh 
There's no way. Nah, it's gotta be a it's gotta be a hack. It's gotta there's no way What? Oh my lord. Do y'all see this? Wow. There's no way. There's no way, bruh. There's no way. Did y'all see? Did y'all see that? There's no way. This can't be real. This cannot be real. Of course, Game Explain, they did their home run contest as well. And I find it really odd because I was like, wait, bruh. They did their, their home run contest, right? And it's not even... I think that guy hacked something or did something. Game Explain did theirs. Let's kind of skip through here. Direction and into an endless void. So the first thing we do is give Sandbag two up smashes. It's no way, bro. Standard attack, and then the baseball bat's going to drop around the fourth second of the countdown. We're going to grab it, but we're not going to keep it for very long. Do a double jump right on top of Sandbag and throw the bat upwards. Then okay. make a run for it. We're going to run just off screen and do a neutral special facing backwards. If time Bruh, there's no way. I should throw sand back towards you, and then you walk it's in no the way. direction. And <laughs> it's then, no way, well, bro. What the heck? Together. Ready? Okay. Now look at this. Five, four, three, two, one. It did not went up that high. It did not went up that high. Look at that. We didn't see no moon or nothing like that. This, this other guy's stuff. Oh wait. Oh <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, bro. This this is we're seeing clouds and some other little crap there. But no, it did not went up that high. So, I don't even know what this guy was actually doing with his. <laughs> it's just endlessly rolling for no reason like but um here's another one. I don't know how some of these guys are doing their home run contest. With Lucario, I just, I don't believe this. He's saying it's not hacked, it's not clickbait. Look at this. No way. No, no, I don't believe this. No, no. Oh my god, no way, no way, no way. There's no way, dog. This is hacked. This is hacked. No way! 30,000 kilometers? No, this is, can't be real. This can't be real. This is hacked. <laughs> yeah, right. Lucario does not pack that much punch. Bruh, look at this. No, I refuse to believe this. I refuse. I refuse to believe this. I refuse. Look at this. 10,000 kilometers? Nah. This is, this is. <laughs> Bruh, there's no way. This is crazy right now. Y'all see this? What's up, DJ? How you doing, my brother? There's no way. This, this can't be real. This cannot be real. Look at that. What do you guys have to say about this? Y'all think Lucario packs this much punch? 16,000 kilometers. Bruh, come on, man. Nah, this is, this is, this can't be real. Not hacked, not clickbait. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. I believe it is. 20,000 kilometers? 21,000, 22,000. That's what I'm saying. There's no way. He said it's not hacked. Like 24,000. Nah, bro. There's no way, bro. There's no way. 24,000 kilometers? Bruh, come on, man. I've never. Game Explains is not that high. It's higher than the other one. Like, there's no way that you could tell me that this is real. No way, bro. No way. Nah, bro. This this can't be real. But he said that it's not, it's not hacked. It's not clickbait. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see here. 
Okay, my smoke detector going off. Um, let me see if everything's okay. Man, look at that. Not even high enough. Oh, of course, it's doing the game explain thing again. But Lucario, Lucario does not pack that much punch, bruh. Lucario does... Wait. Let me see something, guys. I'm... Wait. There's no way. No way, bruh. Skyrim, oh my god. Wait, hold up, hold up, guys. I'll be right back. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. Don't you move. Say what's up to Cheer Nation. I'll be right back. Alright guys, just had to make sure the house was okay. Oh, <laughs> oh snap, I'm hitting everything over. Ugh, I'm back. I'm back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so let's go back to the... Let's go back to the... Um, the Lucario one. I just, I want to see the Lucario one again. Because Ready? this doesn't even make sense. Um... Okay, let me see. Alright, we're back. We're back. Look at this. Now, look at this. There's no way. Like. And look at his GSP going up. Come on, bruh. It's no way, bruh. Hey Marlon, I didn't know you meant iDubs. Oh, where you see that video at, bro? Where you see that video at? This is fake as crap. Where you see that? Where you see that video yet? Yes, I meant iDubs at E3. I meant iDubs at um, E3 um, 2015, I believe. 2015, 2016. I'm not. I, I'm not 100% sure the year. I think I don't remember, but yeah, I meant iDubs, man. iDubs is the is, is the dude. Uh, Scott is cool. Scott is cool. I think this is fake, guys. I honestly think this is fake. There's no way. <laughs> Lucario does not pack this much punch. I think this is fake as crap. Come on, dog. Really? There's no way. This is fake. It looks fake. Oh, you was on Max channel? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I met, I met, I met, I met I Dubs, man. I Dubs is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, dude, man. It plays Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, I think this is fake, guys. There's no way. Nineteen thousand, over nineteen thousand, twenty thousand kilometers. Come on, guys. Uh, Future X. I think this is fake, man. It's no way. I don't think this is real at all. at this crap man 23,000 really really bro yeah okay yeah okay this is fake yeah mm-hmm yeah I'm sure I'm sure it is a new record I'm sure it is I'm sure it's a new record <laughs> um let me see here let's see here 
See, people just making all these these glitch. Um, let me see. Okay, let's see here. Wait, 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 wait. Um, that was from a year ago. Now let's see this. Let's see this one guy real quick. Let's see what he's talking about. Um, cause. Okay, let's see what he's doing. Let's see. Okay, let's see if he... I haven't done it yet. I haven't tried it yet, so... That was a damn good one. Holy fuck. Holy shit. See, it didn't even went that high. <laughs> <laughs> it even went that high. Negative distance. I just broke the game. I just broke the goddamn game. <laughs> It didn't even go that high, like seriously. Yes, look, I went backwards. Shoot, man. But that's the thing now. That's the thing. I don't. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But I. I just had to check that out for you guys. Um. Wait. 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 What? Look at this one. Wait. This is. This is probably fake as crap. It can't be real. It just can't be. Wait. Look at this crap. Oh my lord. Dang. <laughs> wow. Okay. This one I think might be real. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but... This one looks a little bit more realistic than the other one. The other one just is no way Lucario was packing that much punch at all whatsoever. I think that one was just fake. This one is a bit more realistic. Uh, this is fake. <laughs> y'all are funny as crap. Y'all are funny as crap. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for the for the for the home run um, requests and whatnot. Um, wait, hold up. My green screen all jacked up. There we go. Um, thank you all so much for the home crud, the home, um, home run requests and whatnot. I, I just had to look at that, uh, for you guys. Um, okay. So with that being said, you guys have anything else that you guys need me to check out or you guys need me to add to the stream? Um, this is where the floor is open to ask me any random questions that you guys might have. Um, also, I'll be having some giveaways. Giveaways are coming back. Oh man, this would have been a perfect time to do it. This would have been a perfect time to do it. Um, but I, I, it slipped my mind. It totally slipped my mind. But um, giveaways will be coming back. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Um, okay. Uh, Luis, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Do you guys have any questions for me before? Um, any questions at all? What was, what was kind of life was that? <laughs> oh my God, yo, yeah, Junior Odyssey, what's up, man? Um, check on Super Mo uh Check on Super. Um, Super Smash Bros. Melee Home Run Contest. Grandmaster Scorpion, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um, any questions for me, guys? Any questions? Anything else? Um, let's see. Jeff says, oh yeah, Marlon, any news about Mario Kart 9? Yeah, I talked about it at the early part of the stream. Yeah, it's just a host of things. Crossovers between different characters. Um, supposedly, like a, a, a stage that you can actually make. Like you can make circuits, like custom circuits, like make your own circuit. Um, native chat support and things like that. So, yeah, so that's, that's the talk of the town right now. Um, let me do this real quick. Let me see something. Do you guys have anything else that you guys want to add? Let me know in the comments section. 
Um, okay, there it is. Because I was wondering uh, where me. was the stream this whole time. See, YouTube, YouTube be dragging their feet, man. YouTube be dragging their feet. Honestly, they be dragging their feet. Um. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Okay, let's see here. Any more questions? Um, what's your thoughts on a on possibilities of Mario Sunshine sequel? Um, I think we might get Odyssey two before we get that. Honestly, um, honestly, that's what I believe. I think a remaster is possible, but not a sequel right now. But anything is possible. Anything is possible. Um, anything else? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Pour on the questions, guys. The floor is definitely open for questions. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please drop it in right now. Um, let me see here. Okay. Okay. Of course. Um, Marlon, what are your thoughts on Warrior World? I love that game ever since I played it on GameCube. Um, you know what? I've been waiting for Nintendo to, to do Wario Justice. And I don't think we're going to get a new Wario World game. I, I, I don't know. I don't think there's a huge demand for it. So I don't think we're going to get one. But it's possible. It's possible that we can get a new WarioWare game. It's possible, man. Um, I mean, WarioWare and Wario World, most definitely. All right, let's see here. Wait, wait. Let me refresh this page. Um, do we get the comments? Do we comments? Comments? Um, okay, there we go. Yes, yes. We got some comments coming in. All right. Um, let's see here. Come in with the questions, guys. Come in with the questions. Uh, let me see. Mario Sunshine 2. I remember that tweet that Nintendo put out, um, I guess, hinting at Mario Sunshine uh, possible sequel, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's Mario Sunshine. It might be Odyssey. It might be a sequel to Odyssey, but I, I think it's too soon for Odyssey too, in my opinion. Um, if Nintendo does change the LM, um, uh, you talking about Luigi Mansion Three title? It could be called Luigi Mansion Three Haunted Hotel. Okay. Uh, Doom 64 on Switch, what do you think? I think that's great. I think Doom 64 on Switch is great, to be honest with you. I think it's perfect. Uh, um, that's a classic, so most definitely. Uh, Marlon, you watch The Breadwinners 2014-2016 on Nickelodeon? No, I haven't seen that. Honestly, I haven't seen that. Um, okay, why people being ignorant over Terry and Banjo-Kazooie being in Smash Ultimate? It's stupid. It's stupid. I don't understand why people are being just ridiculously selfish, being unreasonable. Like Sakurai did not have to give us a fighter pass, guys. Sakurai did not have to give us all these modes in the game and extra stage DLC and all of that. He didn't have to do all of that. But that's that's the Smash community for you, man. Um, no, your video is actually. Um, wait, hold up. Let me go to Twitter. Let me see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. We get into your video. Wait, here we go. I see your video. Wait, did you do something special in this video? Wait, hold up. Let me see. You do anything special in here? Oh, you just playing classic mode with banjo. Gotcha. Uh, I'll check it out. I'll check it out later. It's a 15 minute video. Uh, yo, yo, yo. What's good, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate the support. Um, mm, 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 mm. My uh, my green screen kind of acting up a bit, but it's okay. Um, Trevor Kid, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Marlon, uh, you watch uh, Planet Shin. <laughs> No, I haven't seen it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, da -dup, da -dup, da -dup, da -dup, da -dup, da -dup. Um, Planet Sheen is a spin-off 
show from Jimmy Neutron. I mean, I haven't seen Jimmy Neutron in years, to be honest with you guys, years. Um, anything else? Anything else? See if you guys have anything else for me. I haven't seen that in like mad years, honestly, mad long years. Um, let me see. Let me see in the chat how many of you guys are gonna pick up, um, pick up the Switch Lite. I want to know all of who is gonna be picking up the Switch Lite in the comment section. Switch Lite. I mean, the Switch Lite is what under two weeks away from coming out. Anybody picking up the Switch Lite? Anybody picking up the Switch Lite? Let your boy know in the comment section. So Marlon, you gonna be picking up Doom 64 on Switch as well as Doom Eternal? Most definitely. I'm a huge Doom fan. Grew up playing Doom, so I don't see why not, right? Um, I finally made it to one of your streams. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, man, for the support. I know a lot of you guys are brand new. A lot of these new subscribers are brand new to the stream. That's why I tell people, make sure you have your notification bell on. I know a lot of times it don't work, but make sure you have it on, just in case, just saying. Um, uh, TiVo Jr. says, you already got it pre-ordered. That's dope, that is dope. Um, now, guys, I wanna tell y'all this right now. For sponsors on this channel, if you're not a sponsor, you're missing out because I will be giving away eShop cards again. So if you're not a sponsor, you get access to my friends list, you get access to playing with me one-on-one, -on -one, talking with me one-on-one -on -one pretty much every day. Uh, you get access to giveaways like that. You get access to tournaments and a host of other things, you know, uh, giving content ideas and things like that. So I'm working with this company right now I'm not going to speak much of it, but just know when you see the news videos and you see like a sponsored um, section of the video, just know it's them. And it's a, it's a Nintendo wholesaler. They sell like um, eShop cards and things like that. And I'm working out something with them for you guys. So just sit back, relax. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. So stay tuned for that. eShop giveaways are coming back. It's going to be right here on the channel. Uh, major things is going down behind the scenes. I'm actually working hard to get this thing worked out uh, that it can benefit you guys, you know, for the support and everything. You guys coming to the streams, watching the videos, you know, subscribing and all that. So stay tuned. Jones Zone, what is good, my brother? Thank you so much for coming through, man. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, my brother. Happy Saturday. Um,. No, no light for me. I'm sticking with my old switch. Hey, I can't knock I can't knock your hustle. I can't knock your hustle, man. I can't knock your hustle. Um, I will definitely be picking up a switch light and Doom Eternal though. I'll be getting a PS4. Okay, okay, okay. I you get you getting a PS4 this late in the life cycle? Hey, I can't knock that, man. How much to become a sponsor? There's different tiers of being a sponsor. Um, you can click, I'll give it to you. It's see, you'll see it in the, um, the description. It will definitely give you that access there to become a sponsor. Uh, it's as low as five bucks, five bucks a month to become a sponsor. And you get access to a variety of things. You get access to the custom emojis, um, you know, the custom fan art for the channel and you get, uh, access to our, uh, private discord as well and then you get access to the giveaways and stuff like that. So uh, one of the things I'm working on right now is to give away a Switch Lite. And um, yeah, if you're not a sponsor, you're missing out. Trust me. Uh, it's five bucks, five dollars, five dollars to become a sponsor. Um, what gaming PC are you using for your green screen? It's pretty much a custom rig that I'm using right now. Um, it's a i7. Uh, with a 800, 807, was it 8700K, I'm sorry. Um, it, I'm pushing about 32 gigs of RAM, two terabyte hard drive, um, GTX 1070 in there. Um, that's what I have currently right now. Um, I think we need Mario Kart 9, maybe something like Smash Bros Ultimate and they bring back everything that would be cool. Most definitely, man. Everything that makes Mario Kart cool with the whole double dash mechanics, I think it would just be great. Uh, Marlon, you watch back, Backyard 2000. No, I haven't seen that, man. I haven't seen that. What's up, uh, Nintendo dude? How you doing, man? Joy-Con boys for life. Welcome to the stream. 
uh we here man we here and just stay tuned just stay tuned guys working on a joy con boys album for etika between me and my wife and the whole entire team it's coming out june 2020 but we're releasing two tracks and also if you're not a sponsor then you might not get the tracks for free because everybody else got to pay for it on itunes uh, obviously, we're going to donate some of the proceeds to the Mental Health um, Institute, the proper Mental Health Institute or whatnot. So stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely, man. I'm, I'm going to upgrade real soon and we're going to get an RTX. So don't trust me. It's going to happen. Now I'm getting Doom Eternal for PS4. Oh, bro, I had a PS4. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. My son broke my other one, so I really had no choice. Laugh out loud. Also, I got Zelda because it comes out on the same. Oh, okay. That's that's dope, man. That's dope. <laughs> that's dope, man. Um, are you getting 2020, uh, 2K2020 on Switch? I don't know. I might pick it up. I might pick it up. I might pick it up. All right, guys, um, the wifey has called me, so we, we got to go eat dinner right now. Um, I got to go eat dinner. Y'all know how it is. Family comes first. Love you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for the tremendous support. I really appreciate the turnaround that we had. I think we had almost 90 people today stream, so really appreciate you guys. Um, and yeah, we got to go eat some dinner. And stay tuned, man, for the next live stream or video that goes up on the channel. Love you guys. Joy-Con boys forever. Shout outs to everybody out there. Happy Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. And peace. Switch gang. Joy-Con boys. We out of here. Stand up. Salute. Peace.